Lightsaber! I finally have lightsaber. Now the things are gonna be much better. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay, okay. Okay, I should stop. Okay. Greetings everyone. If you're new here, I'm Crow Phoenix Knight and welcome to the walkthrough of Knights of the Republic. And in this part, I shall finally be able to get a lightsaber. So I'm so excited about that. And uh, I think I should get my Jedi robe. Uh, so thank you again. Don't forget to subscribe. And let's do this. Da -da 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 -da. I heard that the Sith have destroyed Tarnas. This bodes ill for us. Uh, yeah. But Jabba, some hut here? What the hell is this about? Chimpayamuri, Nova Rundi Hautonga Kunkabi, Rundi Hautonga Tong Kimba Nan Kunkek, Wana Kumbes, Chimpaya Labuda Na Rinkis Matona, Yinkin Slimma Podona Mulera Chikun, Nova Rundi Hautonga Kunkabi, Rundi Hautonga Tong Kimba Nan Kunkek, Wana Kumbes, Chimpaya Muri, Kunhunkabe Mucha shag pangpa, jibedwa nani bobo, tung namun sha nun yang, muchi tito aki, jijaku, rundi hautunga tung kimba nan kunkek, wana kumbes, chimpa yamui, kunun kabi, tuk nen tang, akuchi kopa, chino mulera king paja, Okay, at least you're safe here in the Jedi Enclave. Yikukumo no ba mulera chikun tong hit kun chunching ne boboje mata de punage dolpi kikuana chi gratu loda bograshi on neon kumba chin tomo mutuba loda nita kun. Ita patisa batua kacha tu tong bagra sha kon ti cha ko um chuba kaha chopa chawa chwish yunku jodo jit bungaran tang ka chi kun ida hodonga i king kuno ba mulera chi kun simo podona rundi hodonga ku hunka be ta kom jus tak miki grabal mogo uh, click, uh, quickly click that uh, question. I don't know uh, what I asked, what I told. But anyway. Manaman Atota Haki Jukrata Bola Shui Chongatong Chong no Bunka Mulera Kunkile Kunkile no Ba Watene Ka 
Rachi Kun Itahodonga, Ikin Kuno Bamule Rachi Kun, Slimo Podona Rundiotunga Ku Hunkabe. Takum just stack Miki, Grabble Mogo, Kachichu Itabodunga, Tolba Bank, Waleo Ganda Naru Chuchut. Mogishi Tolpa da Bongwale Ganduna Gugu Chuchut. Kavadum ku pilio botenya. Bonanai kuchu. Hawaga boska chocola. Okay. Takum ju stach miki grabal mogo. Kachi ita hodunga. Yin kinku no ba muli ra chinkun. Tong hai tun kun ching. Ni bobo ji mata. Ni punaje. Tolpi kik nyunyan. Hakuche kopa. Gino muli ra king pajak slimo poidwana. Let's see what have in stock. Rundi hadonga kuhunga bi. Okay, this looks interesting. Uh. What about you? Yiku kuno no ba muli ra chikun tong hit kun chunching ne bobo je mata de punage dolpi kikyu ana. No, I'm not. Ra chikun ita hodonga yikin kuno ba muli ra chikun slimo podona rundi hodonga jedo ba doana ni di bobo tong na bungsha nununya tong patukas mag talaya mucho shak pa kat. Kie no no da ma paole ra chikun. Ka chikun ita hodonga. Ikin kuno ba mule ra chikun. Slimo podona achuta. Wonga kun bis dolpi kikuyan. Ke puna! Kava dompa ku palea muka bata. Ti yoka ku tum. Runda di hodonga kun hankami. Wanna kun bez ching palamule tung king ba no no tek tuk nin chatu kun ne mule rabes ka chi kun ita hodonga i king kuno ba mule ra chi kun slimo podonar jedo ba doana ni di bobo tung na bungsha no no nya tung patukas mag talaya Mucho shak pa khat. Kie no no na ma pao le ra chi kun. Runda di ho tonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tung king ba no no tek. Tuk nin cha tu kun ne mule ra bes. Jedo ba do wana ni di bobo. Tung na bung sha no no nya. Tung patukas mag talaya. Ka. Rachi kun ita hodonga, ikin kuno ba mule rachi kun. Achuta. Okay, that's good to know. Let's see what you got for sale. Jedo ba doana ni di bobo, tong na bungsha no no nya, mucho shak pa khat. Kie no no na... Okay, this looks, looks interesting. Di hotonga kun hankabi, 
ona kun bez ching palamule tungking ba nunotek tuk nin chatu kun ne mule rabes ka chikun ida hodonga i king kun o ba mule rachikun slimo podonar di hodonga ku hunka be Tong abu sha umni no wonga kun bis king balemuraya chuni yon tun chichi ida twana kava vol pa mulje kumana runda ti hotonga kun hanka bi wonga kun bes ching palamule tung king ba nunotek Tuk nin chatu kun ne mule rabes. Achuta, wonga kun bis dolpi kikuyana. Dong patugas makte. And also we fear spirit. I hear that the Sith torture Jedi prisoners until they give in to the dark side. I hope that never happens to me. Yeah, me too. You there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? Bastila, I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as oh, yeah. for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. And with you also. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vruk, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. Yes, the High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant, but we are the council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. Okay. Indeed, I am sure that you do. I assure you that we will have answers for you. Darth Malak seeks to destroy the Jedi Order. Our most effective weapon, perhaps our only hope, is Bastila's skill with battle meditation. With this power, she can swing the tide of nearly any battle in our favor. Which is why Malak was seeking her so fervently. And if he could not have her, he would see her destroyed. Taras was just in the way. We need Bastila in our fight against the Sith. Indeed, we need every Jedi we can muster, since the Sith have been hunting us down at every opportunity, which brings us to you. Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Woohoo! I mean, uh, why? Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. 
Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions in the history of our Order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead... Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. Okay. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you alright? You got it. Let's go. Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. She says she has felt your presence within the dream. The presence she has felt within you ever since... Master Vandar. Ever since Taurus. Huh? It is not unknown for this to happen between two people strong in the Force. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you as it acts through Bastila. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force, and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student, but rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? <laughs> hmm. 
No, I won't choose that. I'll choose that. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their Dark Lord. The lure of the dark side is not easy to resist. Malak's power grows as more and more planets fall to his conquering armies. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. The Council has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of, once the Council deems you ready. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. Okay. The Force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you're willful and headstrong, a dangerous combination. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. All right. We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. The Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited and your progress amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You've done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Thank you. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. In the traditions and customs of our order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from Apprentice to Padawan, and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? I am. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan. 
the lowest rank of those within the Jedi or in the traditions and customs of our order as handed yeah, down. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I'm ready. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must now prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code by completing these fundamental precepts of our Order. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the Force. You have learned your studies well, Apprentice. It will not be long before you are a full member of our Order. But first, you must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi. The very symbol of our Order. The lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our Order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct his lightsaber with his own hands. And now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. Okay. Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He sees great promise in you, as do I. Thank the you. time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. A Jedi is not restricted to a single color. Rather, that color is a badge of pride for the Jedi path it signifies. Should you have an appropriate crystal, you may change your blade to anything you desire. But first, you should learn of the different paths a Jedi may take. Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. Jedi Guardian it is. Indeed. We shall see. I will now ask you questions, and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Hmm. Indeed. Very well. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Yes, I suspected as much. Now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? I am beginning to see a pattern here, Apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, you would be most suitable as a Jedi Guardian. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to, Apprentice? Here is a blue crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again and he will instruct you in how to construct it. Thank you. Oh, nice. Level up. Oh, I can now go more and persuade. Nice, I don't need more two points for one point in persuade. That's very good. Oh, that is so good. Uh, what should I improve? Uh, 
Okay, I'll, I'll master two weapon fighting. Two powers, okay. Uh, heal and lightsaber throw. Nice. Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber. Thank you. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Hoo -hoo. I have nothing here, nothing here, but I do have a blue crystal. Lightsaber! I finally have lightsaber. Now the things are gonna be much better. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay, okay. Okay, I should stop. Okay. You have done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, Apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. It is rare indeed for that to happen the first time one constructs their lightsaber. These crystals are very rare, found only in certain caves strong in the Force. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain Force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. Really? It is a rumor only. I do not know if there's any truth in it. But you must learn first to use your lightsaber and take care when drawing it. Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect. And the attentions of dangerous enemies. The Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? I am. For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the dark side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway, twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove once used for deep meditation by the Jedi is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cathounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers. A threat the Jedi have promised to stop. The Cathounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. I can say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care, and those on the Dark Path are not always lost forever. The Dark Side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the Dark Side has been stopped. This is your task, Apprentice. May the Force be with you. The Council has decreed you may come and go as you please. Thank you. Party selection. Uh, Kendras and Karf, you're coming with me. What? Nice. This is such a nice place for a change, you know? After Terrace, which was uh, like Coruscant, one big uh, planet where entire planet is a city, is uh, then you look at this and you know it's really nice to see this in comparison to Terrace when it's all been just a city, you know, industrial area, and so on. This one is nature and it's so much relaxing in its own way. Anyway. Hey, Nemo! It is good sometimes to stop and reflect on the beauty of nature and the Force. I am sorry. I tend to get carried away. I do not believe we have met, Apprentice. My name is Nemo. Is there something I can help you with? 
Very well. What is it you wish to know? Ah, yes, those caves. Those caves are dangerous for the unwary. Kinreth spiders infest the places. They are attracted by the colors and heat given off by the crystals, I think. It is a pity. Those caves are strong with the Force. Is there something else I can help you with? About me? I am truly flattered. What is it you wish to know? I am here by the will of the Jedi Council. I serve the good and, hopefully through that, the people of the Republic. I think perhaps you place an undue importance on rank and hierarchy. Understandable, but regrettable also. We each serve in our place, high or low. Is there something else I can help you with? I'll be going now. I hope your time is well spent here on Dantooine. Thank you. Dantooine looks peaceful enough, but packs of cath hounds roam these plains. We need to keep our guard up while we're out here. Oh, we will. That's about it for today's episode. In the next part, we are going further into the grassland to solve the Mandalorian problem and that dark side place. So, thanks for the support. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video.